Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips and technology. In today's session, I will be showing you how to enable your confetti celebrations inside Canvas when your student submits an assignment. I will go into all the details of when it works, when it doesn't and much, much more. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Who does not like confetti in celebration, right? So here I am in my Canvas sandbox. The first thing to do is to go ahead and enable your confetti celebrations. To do that, let's go ahead and click on account. Account is where you have your profile picture. Let's go ahead and click on that. Scroll all the way down to your settings. And let me scroll down to celebration animation. You need to make sure that this celebration animation has been enabled. Now, having said that, the first step is to go ahead and check with your admin if this particular celebration animation has been enabled. Even though you see this in your canvas, if this has not been enabled by your admin or your IT, enabling or disabling this does not make any difference. So you might want to check with them first before you start expecting to have that confetti in your assignments. Once this is done, let's go ahead and click on my dashboard, I'm going to be using my sandbox here. Again, keep in mind this confetti works only for assignments. It does not work for quizzes and tests. So let's go ahead and create an assignment. I'm going to create an assignment here and I'm going to name it Celebrate. Scroll all the way down, 10 points. Assignment group does not matter. The points does not matter. What's important is the way the assignment is submitted. So I'm going to go ahead and check no submission now. It's very important that you pick online because if you're using a third party tool or a LTI or external tool to grade your assignments, this confetti celebration does not work. Let's just say using a Google class, Google Slides, Google Classroom or Pearson, my math lab or WebAssign, something like that, and third party tool to grade your assignments, this will not work. So your students have to submit the assignment on Canvas and on Canvas server only. And this only works when you click on online. It does not work for on paper, external tool. And again, no submission doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead and click on online. Here you can pick all of these, any of these. I'm just going to pick text entry, website URL, media recordings, and student annotations. Nah, that's good. File upload and I'm good to go. Now, the next important step is to go ahead and make sure you pick your due date. If the due date is not picked, Canvas does not know what the student is submitting, so it does not celebrate the student's submission. So let's go ahead and click on due date. I'm just going to pick May 19th. Time does not matter because I'm going to go ahead and submit this right now. Once this is done, you will save and publish it. Now, let's just say this particular assignment is in one of your modules. You need to make sure that that particular module is also published. So make sure the module is published and your assignment is published as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. Click on student view because you need to be a student to submit the assignment and celebrate, right? So let's go cl click on student view. I'm going to start the assignment. And again, I'm going to upload a file. So I'm just going to pick a random file here. Uh, let's just say, I'm going to pick this JPEG file of my son. I'm just going to click Submit. And there is my confetti. I'm going to click a new attempt here. Now I'm going to click on Text Entry. And I'm going to paste Celebrate. Why not? Submit. And there goes my confetti. And as you can see, every time I submit, there's a new confetti coming up. So let's click on new attempt, web URL. I'm just going to randomly add whatever came up, submit. And there I have a confetti. So one more media. You know what? I'm going to skip this one. So you get the idea. So every time I submit, I get a brand new confetti. Let's just say celebrate submit and there i have it even though i teach higher ed students kind of enjoy this confetti celebration they like to see if they have submitted in the right time because you know who doesn't like celebration this confetti might look childish if you're teaching higher education 
But trust me, I've been taking a Canvas course and every time I have a confetti, I kind of feel happy and I want to do more. So this is kind of motivation to our students and just telling them, hey, you know what? We celebrate every small thing in life. I hope you enjoy this session. I hope you learn how to enable your confetti animation celebration inside your Canvas. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. Because I know as an educator, I would love to see confetti in my Canvas pages. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, technology and Canvas playlist. Do not forget to check them out. Leave a comment in the comment section below if your IT or admin has enabled confetti. Do you use it? If you do, do you like it? Yes or no? Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself. And again, I will see you in my next video.